Welcome to it. Welcome to it, everyone. Hi. Good to see all of you. How are you guys doing today? Hey, all right. All right. You guys really have to wake up, though. How are you guys doing today? That's much better. That sounds like the true Oklahoma City people that I know. Anyway, uh, welcome to GalaxyCon. My name is Abdallah. It's a pleasure to meet all of you guys. Today, we have a very fun panel. We are going to be playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. How many of you guys have played this game before? Ooh, okay, we got some really good people over here that have played Mario Kart. I'll give you guys a quick introduction of who I am. Um, I'm a YouTube content creator, have been doing it for over 10 years. Uh, all of my content is available on YouTube, Twitch, Kid Doodle TV, all the other streaming services, and it's all family friendly. I focus on Nintendo gaming content, currently playing through Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door. Any fans? Any fans? Some of you guys, good. The game came out like literally the other day, so I'm enjoying that game. Uh, but of course, um, I'm definitely known for Mario Kart. Uh, I love this game so much. I was uh, part of the, uh, there was like a national championships last year, which was really fun. Um, I qualified, but uh, of course I didn't win first place. But the fact that I was able to beat everyone in the full-on tournament to get to the qualifiers was so much fun. All right, well today we are going to play Mario Kart together. I'm going to choose some people out of the audience. And of course, the panel is called Beat the Pro Mario Kart Edition. So how many guys think you can beat me in Mario Kart today? All right, maybe. Yeah, oh, I am going down. This is it. We'll see about that. So I've done this panel, I would say, four or five times in various Galaxy Con and other shows. Um, my record right now is literally one loss out of, like, five shows. So if one of you guys is going to be our second winner. That would be really awesome. Um, I've got some prizes for those of you guys that do end up beating me. You guys can go ahead and claim them at my booth over that way. Um, it's going to be a fun time. And of course, uh, while we're racing over here, if you guys want to learn a little bit more about competitive Mario Kart, we can definitely talk about it. Uh, red shell mattered, blue shell mattered, like all those excuses. But I'll give you guys some tips and tricks along the way. Even if you're not into competitive Mario Kart, it's okay. It's going to be a fun time. And uh, we have to find some potential people that are going to be representing the Mario Kart community in Oklahoma City to really do that. Now, who's going to be our first victim? I mean, challenger. Oh, 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 hold on. I'm looking. Not everyone's volunteering over here. All right. One of you two up front. Yep. Whoever is the, you guys can rock, paper, scissors for it. They're going to rock, paper, scissors for it. I don't know who you guys are, but go for it. Why don't you come on up? Let's give them a round of applause. Hey, and those of you guys, thank you so much for coming in. Those of you guys that are listening, come on in. We got seats over here. I see you two in the back. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, have a seat right over here for me. Let's put this on. Hey, you don't have to if you don't want to, but feel free. All right, there we go. Right on the temples. There we go. Mike over here. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself. What's your name and where are you from? So I'm Freddie Sams uh, from Bristol, Tennessee. That's my wife, Kathleen. Hello, Kathleen. You volunteered this victim over here. Yes, she did. Wow, the first to the slaughter. Thanks. All right, well, um, how are you enjoying the convention so far? I've, it's been really fun so far. We've only been here for a couple of hours. We uh, went down to Cattleman Steakhouse. Okay. Uh, dropped my buddy off. He's participating in another event over there. And, uh, dude, that was good food. Yeah, that's good. It's okay. really, it's only like 10 minutes away. It's awesome. Okay, I will look into that. Anyway, if you guys have any other food wrecks, I'm definitely taking them. I went to a place called, like, Waffle Champion today. Did you guys hear that? Yo, that place is a bomb. Freaking love that. Oklahoma City is good for one thing. Oh, yeah, get some food. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Uh, choose a character. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want. Um, yep. And we're going to knock this out. So we're going to do 150 cc, which is tournament standard. We're going to do one race. That's just what it is. One and done. If you beat me, you get to be the second person that beat me. And the first person that beat me, man, it was he got like a million red shells, and I couldn't do anything about it. But that's okay. <laughs> he did really well, and he was a good sport. Well, obviously, uh, you were in first. You know, all I, mean, good items. I mean, I mean you, you know, got just, just the end. got to beat the game, right? All right, yeah. so we're going to turn off the computers. It's going to be normal items. Um, and then we're just going to one race. And then I'll let you choose the level. How about that? We have all the DLC tracks, so I'll give you the controller to go ahead and choose. All right, here we go, friends. Here we go. Now, I haven't played Mario Kart in literally two months, so I'm a little rusty. Kick me while I'm down. Excuses, that's it. That's what I want to hear. All right, we'll see who's got the real excuses. What level did you choose over here? Uh, uh, Bowser's, Bowser's Castle. Castle. Okay. Yeah, looks okay. like a fun one. 
Bowser's Castle is a rough one for sure. Um, now, in the world of Mario Kart, there's going to be uh, two different types of tracks. Front run tracks and tracks with shortcuts in them. Uh, this is a front run track. There's no real shortcuts to catch up. So, um, in this, you have to make sure that your lines are pristine. You have to make sure that you know where all the turns are, all the mini turbos. Otherwise, you're going to be left in the dust because there's no shortcuts to help you catch up. All right, let's hear it for him. One more time. Round of applause. All right, there we go. All right, let's go. So here we go. As you can see, uh, in the world of Mario Kart, there are so many different coins on the track, right? How many guys over here in the audience know what the coins do? Hands up at home. Oh, good job. Great, great, great. Uh, the coins definitely speed up your cart so that you're able to potentially go and unlock your fastest speed possible. Um, and that's really what you want to focus on, getting to 10 coins. That's, oh my gosh, I fell off. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to need it. I was going to say, man. I was going to say, volunteer over here. Uh, with this level, there is a giant Bowser that can like throw his fist down. There's some splitting paths over here. There's really only one shortcut, and it's right over on my side of the screen. In case you had a mushroom or something like that, you can go through the off-road portion. Um, so anyway, we're going to see how we do. Yeah, let's go, man. Yo, this is for all of Oklahoma City over here. Uh, you're, you're, you're beating my butt. <laughs> so how often do you play Mario Kart? So we used to play quite a bit, but uh, my wife sold our copy because okay. she kept losing. That's why she's so adamant about really? you beating me down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So seriously, so she was such a sore loser. You're throwing her under the bus right now, on the record. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Okay, 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 on the record. Uh, going off there and uh, potentially or actually selling the game. And then what did you do with the trade-in credits? What did you buy with that? I want to say we got a... Uh, one of the Zelda games, if I'm mistaken. Okay, okay. Not bad. All right, so those of you guys in the audience, would you guys have sold the game in the event that you lost? Like, go that sore loser. Would you guys do that? Hands up so I can see on you guys. Okay. Wow, really? Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> see, she, she knows yeah, what yeah. she did. She knows. Uh, she knows. That's it. Sold the game. Did you consent to that? Whose game was it, right? Obviously, it's both of yours. Right? Oh, yeah, it's both. Yeah, yeah, it's both of yours. Oh, that's so funny. Man, there have been times where, of course, you know, you play a game and you have to, like, rage quit, right? You just, oh, yeah, you, you get rage a good quit, one. And then that's just what it is, man. All right. How you doing over here? You doing all right? Oh, no, we're getting creamed. Okay, okay. Welcome to Mario Kart. <laughs> you know, the fun thing uh, about GalaxyCon is we have some After Hours event uh, called Drunk Mario Kart on the schedule. Did you guys hear about that? Oh, okay. Check the schedule for it. It's actually really, really fun to watch. Even if you guys aren't drinking, it's really fun. And there we have it. Oh, see, I got all the cool items at the end. Hey, Obviously. you know what? You got the good item. There we yeah, go. Yeah, right and at the, the end. And the smart steering. All that fun <laughs> stuff. All right. Good job, brother. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Let's give him a round of applause. Welcome to Mario Kart. Pretty okay. That's a good warm up. Dude, I'm like, I'm ice cold up here, dude. I uh, know, I know. I cheated, dude. I had the good items the whole time, right? Anyway. All right. Let's hear it, folks. What? is going to be the next level that we're going to choose. Who knows? Who is going to be our next victim? Show of hands. All right, someone's getting volunteered. I love that. All right, show of hands. All right, with the cappy hat in the back row. Yeah, let's give him a round of applause. Let's hype him up. Let's hype him up. That's right. Mom says, go get him. Don't go easy on him. And I love the t-shirt, too. Look at that Mario t-shirt ready to go. OK, buddy. You ready to do this? All right, I'm going to teach you how to put this on. Right on your head, like so, on your glasses. This, right over here. Okay. Boom. All right, go ahead and say, uh, introduce yourself. What's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Cashton, and I'm from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Okay, awesome. Everyone, let's say hi, Cashton. All right. Dude, everyone's cheering for you. You have to beat me in Mario Kart. Okay. I love to be shy guy. Okay, okay you love to be shy guy. Black shy guy. Okay, bl black shy guy. Okay, I'm gonna be. Uh, who's the worst character? Has to be. Um, who's the worst character? Her. Oh, Birdo. Yeah. Okay, would you guys agree or disagree? Birdo, the worst character? <laughs> All right, well, according to Cashton, Birdo is the official worst character. All right, good luck.
Whatever you want. You could turn smart steering off if you want. You could keep it on, whatever you'd like. All right, so in the world of Mario Kart, there's, uh, there's a lot of different uh, vehicles that you can choose. As you can see, Cashin over here scrolling through a million different things. Uh, the bikes are actually really good if they have inward drift. Some of them have outward drift, and that depends on uh, you know when you're using that drift button, right? Um, so it's really preference on how good you're used to it. Uh, the best wheels in the game are going to be the super tiny ones, the roller wheels. So when you see like that one, that red one, that little red one, yeah, that's uh, up one more. Go on. Yeah, this one. That, those are the best wheels in the game. So if you guys are looking for a combo, uh, objectively like best. But you're going to do the slim wheels. Okay, cool, dude. Do your right. thing. Live your life, man. All right. Do you have a specific level that you want to go to that you're going to beat me in? Yeah. Well, what are you thinking? Uh, Here we go. I mean, think long and hard, right? Because remember, there's front run tracks that don't really have any shortcuts. And then there's also ones that have shortcuts and are a little bit more fair and balanced. Right? Uh, yeah, just you, we're gonna play one. Okay. Uh, some levels have really, really hard shortcuts to pull off, like DK Summit, uh, Waluigi Stadium. Okay, there we go. I Any fans that. of Waluigi out here? All right, can I get a Waluigi? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. Uh. But the jokesters over here in Oklahoma City. That's fun. All right, here we go. Let's hype up Cashton. One more round of applause. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. All right, he's going way ahead of us over here. There we go. Get him. We got the personal cheering section over here, buddy. That's right. Let's go. Let's do it. You're doing awesome. So this level comes from uh, the game Double Dash, Mario Kart Double Dash. You guys remember that one? Yeah, they never remade that. I mean, it was so sad. Having two characters on one cart, how fun was that? Like, usually you have a friend that drives, maybe a friend that uh, potentially throws the items. Man, that was the coolest game. All right, you doing all right over there, buddy? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, I got tired right here. Watch out for the tired. All right, you ready? You're doing it. Okay, you're running into me. There we go, there we go. There we go. This is true. And one of the things about uh, one of the things about Mario Kart is knowing to hold an item behind you, right? We know that from the very first, maybe second Mario Kart. First one, maybe? Um, you can go through and hold an item right behind you and potentially block a red shell or drag an item in front of another character. There's a lot of things that you can do with that. Uh, but the the hard thing about holding an item behind you is that it's technically used uh, whenever uh, a lightning bolt strikes, right? Or you get hit by another item, right? There we go, there we go. <laughs> Good job, dude. So, Cashman, how often do you play this game? A lot. A lot, okay. And do you say, um, do you play with your brother and sister? Yep. And then who wins most of the time? Castle 2, my dad always wins. Oh, okay, so your dad beats you up all the time. All right, all right, he beats you in Mario Kart. Okay, who's who's the second best in the household? I don't know, me. <laughs> you, your second best. <laughs> so if I brought your brother over here? Oh, he would beat me. Okay, he would beat you, got you. And what about your sister? Uh, she, no offense, but she's a little. She's a little what? Off. Oh, she's a little off, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really sure. You're going to have to tell the audience what off means uh, in this like, context. So. Not trying to be rude, Casey, but it's bad. Oh, okay. Not trying to be rude, but that means bad if you're off. Okay. I mean, see, that's one of the great things about playing Mario Kart is smack talking all the people that you play against, right? Smack talk them so hard that they take the game back to GameStop and they trade it in. Could you imagine that? Not like anyone in the audience would do that, right? No one would do that. No way. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, gosh. All right, so one of the things about front running in Mario Kart is that you have to be able to balance your items so that you block red shells that come your way. Oh, As you yeah. can see over there, I went towards a double item block knowing that I would get a singular coin. Um, and then, of course, um, just dropping it in order to not get hit by that red shell. But here we go, finish strong. Let's hear it for him. Let's give him a big cheer. Dude, you did way better than that other guy that came up here. <laughs> and
Hey, fist bump it. Good job, buddy. All right, let's give him a round of applause as he exits. Good job. Smack talking his sister. Oh, I love to hear it. That was so fun. All right, friends. That's two down. We have a good 30 minutes left of this panel. How many other victims, I mean challengers, are coming out? All right, a lot of people, a lot of people. Here we go, here we go, I'm feeling out. All right, in the back with the pink uh, sword, and yes, you, yeah. Yeah, the pink outfit. Don't worry, we'll get to all you guys soon. I'm gonna try to. All right, let's do it, man. Don't worry about the bear. Don't worry about the sword. Okay, whatever, do, do your thing, man. Let's give him a round of applause. Yay, this is great. He's like, which, which item should I bring? A giant pink bear or a, a sword? I don't know. It's part of the cosplay, man. You got to do it. All right, watch out for that. There we go. Perfect. All right, right on the temples. Drop that down. All right, what's your name and where are you from? I am Jamie. Hold on, right oh. into this mic. Here we go. I am Jamie, and I'm from Norman. Jamie. All right. Let's say, hey, Jamie. <laughs> all right, Jamie. All right, tell us a little bit about your experience with Mario Kart. Uh -huh. How often you play? Uh, it feels like I play like this once a year. <laughs> okay, great. I really only play Mario Kart when I'm at conventions hosting this panel. So that's almost the same thing. Great. <laughs> uh, awesome. Jamie, let's do it. Who are you being? Peachette. Peachette. Uh, did anyone want this character in the game? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one of you guys. I don't know. Uh, you could turn off smart steering. You could keep it on, whatever uh, you want. Uh, some people like it on. Some people like it off. There we go. Cool. Peachette. Peachette. I don't even know, man. All right, let's see it, dude. Let's see it. Here we go. Let's do some work. Uh, I'll let you choose whatever level you want. Okay. Uh, and then Jamie is going to be the first person that beats me today. I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it. He's got a good cart combination. The uh, the teddy bear and the roller is a really, really good cart combo. N64 Rainbow Road. Okay. How many guys are fans of the N64? Mario Kart, yeah? Okay, that's the jam, dude. Seriously, that was like the best one, hands down. All right, best of luck, let's do it. Let's hear it for him. Let's hear it for him. Okay, this is good, man. <laughs> All right, so Rainbow Road N64, uh, they don't give this level three laps like they did back in the 64 days. It's literally a one and done, zero shortcuts. So you're highly dependent on items and highly dependent on front running the track. So if you don't know the lines, if you don't know where to get the coins, you're probably not going to do the best unless you really rely on the luck. So anyway, we'll see what happens. All right, there we go, there we go. Ooh. Okay, so one of the things, too, about Mario Kart is when you're in first place, you don't tend to get the good items, right? You only get, like, coins and maybe sometimes a shell. Something along those lines. It's really rough. So we're going to see exactly how we uh, can figure this out. And there's one singular red shell. All right, that's really good. Love to see that. Red shell is really awesome because it, it homes in on your opponent and forces their hand uh, with either blocking it or really focuses on uh, getting hit by it. All right, there we go. Got hit. I got overzealous here. Now I'm going to lose. All right, good job, dude. OK, so I'm blessed with just a boomerang. Boomerang's not going to do much for me in this run. And he's got a super horn in first place. So if I get anything, he's going to be able to block it. And I got no red shells. That's it. He's got it. He's got it. That's going to be a first one, a first victory of today. And I got no red shells whatsoever to catch up. Jamie has just done it. That's crazy. He's gotten it because of one red <laughs> shell. <laughs> one red shell. Because of <laughs> one red <laughs> shell. <laughs> GG's, GG. brother. Hey, fun. come see me over at my booth over here. I got something for you, okay? Woo. All right, do it for Jamie. There we go. Good job, man. And see, like, just like that. Just one red shell, and then it just changes the pace of the game. Um, but that's really, when, whenever that happens, of course, I'm not just going to rage quit and go sell the game. It's just like, hey, man, welcome to Mario Kart. That's just what happens. So um, one of the things that I did incorrectly was I was a little bit more offensive with the bomb that I had behind me. I thought I could drop it and potentially hit him, uh, playing more offensively. But of course, in Mario Kart, defense is really the way to go. 
So had I not gone there and dragged the bomb behind me, I could have just stayed in front run the entire time. So there we go. And that's one of the things too about Mario Kart is like really taking a look at what you did in the map and, and breaking it down, right? Breaking it down what you, what you could have done differently, right? Welcome to Mario Kart, my man. Good job. And he picked a front run track, dude. Cause he knows like, hey man, it's front run. Like that's it. All right, let's get another person to come on up. Uh, in the middle in the back, yes. Right over here, come on over. Let's give him a round of applause. All right, I've woken up. I've shaken the rust off, dude. I, I got a reputation uphold. No more, man. <laughs> no more. No more red shells, dude. I can't have it. I cannot have it. Hey, it's okay. We're having fun today. We're chilling over here in Galaxy Con. This is great. It's the first time in the town. Let's give a shout out to all of you guys that have come out here, man. Seriously. Yeah, Woo! I'm excited. Hey, don't worry. It goes around the temples to the back. There we go. Uh, not in your ear. Yep, it's not head feet. Uh, right on your temples, on the glasses, glasses rim. There we go. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Cool. And then you just turn this right over here. Boom, boom. All right, right into the mic. Uh, tell everyone what your name is and where you're from. I'm Wilson. I'm from Jonesboro, Arkansas. All right. Hey, Wilson. All right, let's go. Out. Yo, we got Wilson. All right, let's do it. Let's do it to it. I am so rusty, I don't even know if I remember the controls. You know, you could just pick uh, Jamie's controls over here. Jamie's cart combo, he's good, man. Or you can do whatever you think. Uh, controls A to go. Uh, you have drift with R. You have items with L. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty much it. Remember, We're having some fun here. Here we go. All right, all right. So tell us, how much experience do you have playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Oh, when I was younger, me and my sister would play this for ages. Oh, dang. Shout out to sisters, right? Mm -hmm. Sisters that are good at the game, though, right? <laughs> yeah, any kind of... Um, how many of you guys had siblings that you played Mario Kart with? Yeah? Oh, those were the days, man. Uh, Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart Double Dash. Just like, hey, sibling, get over here. Let's play some Mario Kart. And, of course, how many of you guys got butt hurt after you lost, right? All the time. All right, choose a wheel. I would say I would recommend the rollers. They're the best in the game, objectively. Uh, there's a lot of hidden stats within the game. Obviously, it says speed, acceleration, weight, handling, traction. There's uh, hidden stats of like water speed, air speed, uh, mini turbo stat, all that fun stuff uh, that the game just doesn't publish for you. So just knowing the right combo and you're good to go. So, all right, and gliders typically don't matter all that much. Hey, they matter a lot. They're all right, style go for points. it. Hurry up, style points, man. I got to get through a whole bunch more people. Let's do this. All right, choose a level. Go for it. Whatever right, you want. Right. Do you have a specific one that you like? What is your best level? Oh, we can go base I'll game. We go you. DLC. Mute City, do it. All right, any F0 fans out here? What is F0? I don't know. Some weird game. Captain Falcon? I don't know. All right, let's do it. All right, let's give him a round of applause. Let's cheer him. Let's hype him up. All right, I now know that I gotta just not go easy on everyone. I'm just, I'm just gonna go. All right, I'm just gonna go. Here we go. Oh, you want two, two in, in a row. row. They want, you two, want in two, two in a row. No, it's not happening. Not today. I'm done. I'm done losing. Here we go. On this level, I'm not losing. All right, here we go. I'm gonna really turn it on. All right, that's it. That's it. All right, so this level a lot of people like because it's very fast. There's a lot of boosts that are happening. Uh, this is actually really good for me because I got a shell, something to block, something potentially um, in the game. Love that. All right, here we go. So this level is actually really good because there is a huge shortcut you can take at the very end. Let's see if my opponent will absolutely utilize that. Not sure if he will. Uh, he did not utilize that, so that tells me a couple things, that he didn't want to try it or either doesn't know about it. Care to comment? I am locked in. Okay, right okay, now. that's it. Locked in. Understood. Got you, got you. All right, so I'm very eager to drop this bomb, but I remember my mistake from last guy, from last game where I did that and it costed me a little bit. So I can't afford to do that right now. But I'm going to ditch it right now and go for the double item block right here in order to get some coins. Uh, now, this level is pretty unique. You can use the, uh, the coin boosters on the left and the right side in certain parts of the map in order to potentially gain your coins over there. But since I know I'm front running in this level, I don't necessarily need to go wide for those um, because I know that I'll get coin items that'll help me get to 10 to unlock my max speed. 
But here we go, this is the last lap, and I told you I was not gonna hold back, so we are not losing anymore today. This is it. Here we go. And those are the coin boosters on the side there that he was going in. Really good choice. So now he's up to uh, eight coins over here. I'm still floating around eight. Uh, or sorry, he's up to 10, I'm at eight. I'm really just wanting to hold on to this banana in case some crazy red shells come. But as you can see over here, the game didn't give him a single red shell to catch up. All the game gave him was mushroom. And unfortunately, he didn't use the, uh, the mushroom cut at the very end where he can cut off towards the right hand side. Um, so that's going to be a front run match, um, as you can see over here. And there we go. Very close. Very close right there. Hey, hey, hey. That was good. Uh, Almost was the two in a row. Hey, dude, you did great. Um, I would say with this level, um, just learn the shortcut at the end with the mushrooms. Whenever you get a mushroom in the game, I'm you have to really think. With you. I picked this because I didn't think there were any short. Oh, well, uh, there we and go. I came in too confident for the rest I had on me. That's right. Hey, no worries. You guys want to see what that shortcut looked like really quick? Yay, yay. Okay, I'll show you what that shortcut looked like. We're going we're gonna to pick the same thing, and I'll show it to you. Um, actually, you know what? Let me do this. Um, while we queue up for the next person, who's up? Who's ready to go? Okay, I'm going to get you later. Don't worry. Uh, let's go, let's go. Yeah, right here. Right at the Triforce. All right, here we go. Right with the Triforce hat. Um, yeah, why don't you have a seat, and I'll show the shortcut over all right, to all, all right. you guys. Let's give this guy one more round of applause. Thank you so much. Awesome job. That was pretty fun. That was really, really fun. We're gonna do time trials on that one really quick. Um, so part of the game of Mario Kart is learning where all the shortcuts are, right? You gotta know how to beat your friends, right? Uh, one of the best ways of doing that is going into time trials mode um, and going over to viewing the online ghost. If you take a look at the online ghost, you'll then be able to see what the world record people do in every single one of the levels within the game. And all you have to do is just study that, know exactly which turns to make, which uh, mini turbos to do, um, and which shortcuts to take anyway. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys that shortcut really quick, just in case you guys don't know it. Um, but like I said earlier, whenever you get a mushroom, it's definitely not beneficial to just burn it right away. Right, you wanna be able to hold it and say, okay, at this point in the level, what can I do with a mushroom, right? What can you do with it? Just so you don't use it on a straightaway. You gotta be able to cut something in order to get that going, right? So anyway, these are the coin boosters that I was talking about in this level. You can pretty much get up to 10 if you stay going slow right over that way. And now by doing that, you can take one shortcut over here, which is right through that, uh, that off-road section. Not bad, a little sloppy. Um, but right over here is going to be where you're gonna be boosting through this way. And you can see over here, this will glide you all the way through to the very end, uh, which is a huge cut. So anyway, kinda cool, kinda cool, all right. Uh, you got this on? Hey, look at, let's give him a round of applause for putting on the headset. Yeah, there we go. Hey, headset. Competent. Hey, no worries, man. All right, what's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name's Jordan, and I'm from Florida. Okay, he says Jordan from Florida. Oh, dang, what you doing all the way over here, man? Traveling. Traveling, okay, okay. And you came to the right place, am I right? Galaxy Con, right over here, mm -hmm. making some, uh, beating me in Mario Kart. Okay, no, I'm so excited for it. All right, tell us a little bit about how much you play Mario Kart. You're ready to go, dude. All of your buddies over here in the front row, they're cheering for you, man. What are you thinking? Uh, I used to play Mario Kart a lot. It's been about maybe like a year ago since I last played it. Okay, a little but, rusty. Uh, from finding my friends over here, yeah, they know that I play Mario Kart almost too much back then. Okay, and then out of your friend group over here, who would win the most? Uh, it'd be a... Uh, okay, so it's like a tie between you and one of your friends. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Good to see. Good to see. All right, so that means that uh, since you played a lot of Mario Kart, you're probably the most experienced one over here, right? Hmm. Maybe. All right, oh, go yeah. ahead. Choose a level. I Whatever you want to do, man. So. That, let's see, let's see. Base game DLC, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has all of the very awesome new levels that they remade uh, from various uh, Mario Kart games from Nintendo 3DS, Super Nintendo, Double Dash, all of those. All the previous seven Mario Kart iterations. All right, he's choosing. Base game, you have probably the most experience on base game. Yeah. Royal yeah. Raceway is a fun one. Uh, that's a really good one that a lot of people like. It's a nice balanced course. It is. Um, yeah. You can do front run track. You can do something else. He's thinking really long and hard, man. 
Those of you guys that are in standing section in the back, I see all of you guys. Come on up. Don't worry. We got seats in the front row for you. Come on over here. Yeah, you in the back. I see you. Do it. We're going to Royal Raceway. Good job. Good choice. This is a gentleman's track. Excellent work. All right, let's give him a round of applause. Let's cheer for him, folks. This is the second, the second win. Can we get the second win today for Oklahoma City? You guys have one on the board. I just realized I might not have a... Uh, just in my settings, I might have that antenna in the back. Okay, we can turn it off. Uh, oh, you know, no, it's not it there. No, you're good. You're good. All right, cool. Let's make it happen. Excellent. Excellent. Let's go. All right. Good, good work. All right. Royal Raceway. This is A level. This is one of my favorite levels because uh, it's N64 for starters. And N64 was the game I grew up on, right? A lot of you 90s kids out there would totally. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Yeah, that's eye for eye for sure right there. <laughs> I love that one. All right, here we go. Another oh, doing that show. work. Doing that work. Here it is. Oh. There we go. Get dragged. All right, so that was pretty decent. Red Shell did not matter in that instance. It was, uh, <laughs> it was a drag for sure. All right, so I'm in a tough spot over here. I have, yeah, I have nothing to block that. Ow! Oh, I got burned! Oh. oh my gosh! Okay, good. Really good shot, man. Drain me of my coins over here, and all I got is a super horn. All right, I gotta keep it tighter. I gotta keep it tighter. He's got a coin. What is he gonna do with it? I don't know, man. I don't know if I can catch up. Oh, I got a red. Here we go. Sweet. Oh, no. But will I need it? Oh, what? Did my own shell block that? What did you block that with? No, I, I don't know where the green shell went, but... Oh, I, my green shell probably killed it. Oh, that's not good. All right, I got to catch up somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do it. This could be the second loss, man. Oh, my gosh. Bananas did not work in that instance. Here we go. Let's take the turns a little tighter. Here we go. Red oh, shell mattered. Oh, I couldn't get it out fast enough. Yeah, red shell absolutely mattered there. Here we go. But you didn't get your banana out fast enough. Here we go. He's one banana. If he gets a red shell, he could win this. But I do have something to block it. I'm good. I'm good. It's a red and a green. What can he do with it? There we go. Don't don't repeat my mistake. My mistake was throwing the shells too close to each other and they clashed. So if you get if you get a red shell right here, you can win. Red shell, you win. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there was no, Damn. yeah, because I had nothing to block it with. Red Shell, you would have won it. So that Ooh. was a really good map. That was a really good map. I think I think that was that was pretty fair. Like, you had a couple Red Shells. I yeah. had a couple Red Shells. And it just mattered on, like, who took the turns a little bit faster. That was a really good match, folks. Let's give another round of applause to him. Dude, really good. And see, that's why I like that level, right? It's nice and easy. You got some laps that you can do. There's opportunities to catch up. Really gentleman's chorus. Good work. All right, let's get another person on board. All right, who's coming, who's coming, who's coming, who's coming? In the red, right up front. You've been here the entire time waiting to go. He's raring to go. Let's hear it for him. Let's go. Let's hype him up. This is good. We got about 10 minutes left. Thank you guys again for coming and spending your evening with me today. You guys are great. You guys are great. Let's do it. All right, put that bad boy on and we'll get this going. I'm trying to not get another loss. And you guys are trying to make me lose. So here we go. We'll find out. We'll find out who of you guys is the absolute best in Mario Kart forward. that can do it. Uh, yeah, 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 this is great. And then bring this down to your mouth right over here. Oh, yep, right, perfect. Yeah. There we go. Uh, introduce yourself. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Quinn. I'm from Springfield, Missouri. All right. Everyone say hi, Quinn. Hey, Quinn is here. All right, Quinn. Yeah. Tell us your experience with Mario Kart. Uh, used to play it more. Haven't played it as much recently. Okay. So kind of like me. Steal your combination. Please do it. It's one of the best. Um, it's definitely a little bit more speedy. I would say the roller wheels are perfect. You already have the red ones on. The blue yeah, ones are the right. exact same thing, just cosmetic. Any glider, yeah. it doesn't matter. You can go yeah, uh, cloud or those. Perfect. All right, here we go. Choose whatever level to your fancy uh, Quinn here. All right, what level was that? Let me take uh, a look. DK Jungle. Oh, DK Jungle. Okay. Cool. Any guys fans of Donkey Kong games? Yeah, yeah, Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong 64. What do we got? I don't know. Did they make any other ones? Mario versus Donkey Kong? Um. Did anyone play that game? I don't know. It's the weird remake that no one asked for. 
All right, here we go. Uh, this is from the Nintendo 3DS game. Super fun. Uh, it is a front run track. There's no shortcuts you can take on it. Uh, so yeah, I guess we're gonna have to figure it out. All right, let's give him one more cheer. This is it. This is it. Can we do it? All right, here we go. I'm gonna see what we can do here. All right. I'm gonna opt to front run here in hopes that uh, no red shells come his way. Okay, just bananas as we can see over here. Not too bad. All right, we're gonna see what we can get. All right, here we are. Let's take a look. I got a banana and shell. He's got two shrooms. He's just gonna burn them. Yeah, there's nothing you can do with the shrooms at this part. There's too many uh, boost panels that just kind of negate that speed. All right, here we go. I'm gonna hold on to this coin. Let's see what we got. Okay, he's got nothing but mushrooms right now. The game is not giving him any good items in order Whoops. to catch up. Yeah, I had a oh that was no! Happen. Yeah, that's a big, uh, a big time sink right there if you fall off the level. Um, again, as you can see over here, Mario Kart, there is a lot of luck. I would say the game is maybe 60% skill, 40% luck. And uh, if you don't get any good items to catch up, especially on a level like this, like you're kind of dead in the water when it comes to it. Um, that's why I really like levels like the previous level uh, where we were in, like Royal Raceway, right? In case you don't get levels, uh, in case you don't get items, you can do a lot of work with shortcuts and uh, things with mushrooms, right? But right now, this mushroom is not doing anything for you in this map. All right, here we go. Let's try not to screw that up again. Oh, oh, there, oh again. no, no, don't even take it. It's not even that. worth it. Yeah. Hey, it's all right, man. You got this. Uh, not really. All right, you're fine. You're fine. Watch out for the little tiki guys. There's a bouncing flower over there. Watch out for it. And here we go. All right, got a ghost. Awesome. Yeah, but like, as you can see, this is a perfect example of what a front run track is, right? There's just zero catching up. If you're playing against someone and they know the level really well and there's no shortcuts, like you gotta, you gotta hope and pray that there is uh, some good items coming your way. Anyway, there it is. Oh no, you gotta finish yeah, strong, man. Yeah. You gotta keep going. Finish strong. And here's the triple red shells, yeah, right? That's the dreaded item. That's the item that he needed like a couple seconds ago. Because if you had triple reds, you could have thrown one, two, three. Let's give him a round of yeah. applause. You did great, man. All right, good work, dude. Yeah, that was good, that was good. All right, I think we got time for maybe three more races. Uh, we need some people that are ready to go. Hands up, hands up, right over here. Come on up, let's give him a round of applause. All right, all right. All right, and this, uh, this fine challenger came over to my booth a little bit earlier and told me that he's a secret Mario, or you're a secret Mario Kart captain of an eSports team, tell me about it. Uh, yeah, I play at uh, Piedmont High School and uh, I'm one of the team captains, we have two. A team captain of a Mario Kart eSports team. All right, this is our, I'm just gonna leave the controller down, <laughs> right? We'll see what happens, grab the controller, have some fun, uh, introduce yourself. Your name and where are you from? I'm Gal Wise. I'm from Piedmont, Oklahoma. All right, well, welcome to it. There we go. We got some Oklahoma natives over here. We have some talent. Let's see what some Yoshi action over here. Uh, really excited to see how this turns out. Oh, wait. Um, love playing against people that play a lot of games, uh, have a lot of hours under their belt. Um, I remember when I was uh, qualifying for one of the, uh, the national tournaments that was streamed on Nintendo's uh, homepage. Um, they went around and they did uh, interviews with all the players that actually went in and got qualified. Um, and they were saying, oh yeah, I've got like 5,000 hours in the game, 6,000 hours over here, 7,000 hours. If you were to say how many hours you put into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, guesstimate, what do you think? It would be between like three switches, so maybe 800. Maybe, okay, maybe almost 1,000 hours. How many guys have put uh, almost 1,000 hours into a game? No way. Maybe like Animal Crossing during the pandemic, right? We all played that, right? <laughs> Choose a level, whatever you want. Mount Wario, do it. I love it. Oh my gosh. All right, one more round of applause. Here we go. All right, here for the second win today. For the second win, can we do it? Aiming for it. We're going to do it. Mount Wario, this level is 
I would say it's like a front run track. There's not really any shortcuts you can take to catch up. Every once in a while. Yeah, there's a little bit, but not much. Um, and it's not a looping track. Like, you, you don't do the loops. You just go down the mountain and it's done. So this very much like Rainbow Road like we did earlier. So This and F-Zero, two of the yep. only ones and probably one of my favorites. Yep, it's definitely fun. Huge fan of this level. It's a good one. All right, let's see how we do. All right, let me see if I can remember this level. There's a couple of shortcuts you can take here and there. Uh, there's a really cool one right here. Ah, oh, that is a trick. Get that trick I want to do. Yeah, that's really hard. Okay, so you got a horn and uh, a red shell. That's rough for me. Yeah. If only they were in revo reverse order. I'd yeah, reverse order would be real good. All right, we're gonna see it. Seven coins over here. Let's do the work. Okay. All right, here's some chance for triple reds over here. We'll see what happens. And that's the thing, man. You're welcome to Mario Kart. We always say it when it happens, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. That's the one when you're way ahead, and then you get that blue shell coming at you, and it's like, it's not going to even matter. Yeah, blue shell's rough, man. We'll see what happens over here. I hate those trees so much in that level. Same. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, if I could get that red. Yeah, one red would do it, man. Ooh, but I might just... Oh, I didn't end myself with that green. All right, do it for your team, man. What's the name of your team? Uh, we go by Drift Controls. The Drift Controls. Do it for every member of the Drift Controls. Triple reds and you win. Oh, oh man, that's rough. Okay, so this is a perfect instance of a front run track. You were like right behind me, honestly. If you had two reds in a yeah, row, you would have won that one. Yeah, if I got those reds. Yeah, dude. All right, let's give him a round of applause. Dude, I'm sweating over here. That was good. Hey, dude, pleasure's mine, man. Um, so that was an instance, again, of a front run track, right? You can see that if you know the lines and know how to do the mini turbos correctly, like you can pull through. Um, he only had one red in that one, so that was hard because I was able to juggle my items in order to block that. Um, and there was really nothing else you could do. When you're evenly matched um, with knowing the lines, dude, items, items matter 100%. That was really great. All right, we got one more round. Who's going to be our last challenger? One more round. All right, right here in the black hat, bringing him on board. Let's give him a round of applause. All right, here we go in the black hat that says Pittsburgh. All right, tell me more. Tell me more. I'm excited. Grab the mic right over here. Put that on your temples on the back side here. Right around your back. There we go. All right, this is it. We're going to need all of you guys to cheer for him once he introduces himself, okay? Can I count on you? Okay. I'm, I'm like reaching over here. I need this to happen. All right. What's your name and where are you from? Uh, Weston. I'm from Oklahoma. Okay. Weston. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Weston. Weston. All right. All right. Tell me about your Mario Kart experience. Um, I haven't played in like a long time. <laughs> you haven't played in a long time. Okay. You gotta say, dude, I'm like an expert. I got 7,000 hours, man. That's what <laughs> no. I was saying earlier, right? No, it's really interesting. Um, when I heard that, I'm just like, wow, that's a dedication to a craft, right? Like, we all have hobbies, right? We all like playing games, like playing Fortnite, right? Those are the things we do. Or playing sports, or playing, an, yeah, or playing an instrument. What do you guys do here in Oklahoma? What do you guys do for fun? Any passions? Yeah, chase tornadoes. There we go. That's right. You play Mario Kart. I hear there's a lot of breweries. Cool, right? I taste every... I don't know. Um, but anyway, passions. Mario Kart. Here we go. Choose a level. Do okay. it, Weston. This is everyone cheering for you. What level are we doing? Is this going to be the second loss? OMG right now. Okay, we're going to talk about Baby Park. How many guys know this level? All right, Baby Park is notorious for all the crazy stuff that happens, right? There's really no shortcuts you can do. It's like five or seven laps, something silly, I and it's just a circle. I always think my dad do this one. <laughs> yeah, this one's really crazy. Okay, anyway, here we go. The final match. 
Will we get another win on the stage at GalaxyCon 2024? Will we? Yeah? All right, let's cheer. Let's cheer for Weston. Let's go. All right. Baby Park. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys some cool things to do in Baby Park to impress your friends. All right, here we go. Oh, that's not good. Okay, that's very impressive. Boo. All right, here we go. All right, let's see how we do with Baby Park. All right, so Baby Park, there's a little bit of grass you can cut. If you uh, focus on doing that every turn, you can do some really mean times on these uh, laps over here. Okay, that's not good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, he's going to do it. All right, I really got to turn this on right here. Okay, here we go. Okay, he's doing the work. He's doing the work. All right, will he do it? I got to play it safe, man. This is not the combo I usually use. Okay, come on. You're right there. Okay, there's two more laps of this map. Thank goodness. Get it over with. Pull it off like a band-aid. It's the worst lap. Oh, I keep going in the grass. All right, I have like no but no coins at all. And I'm holding on to the super horn just in case something happens. I'm keeping an eye on his items. He pulled a boomerang over here. This is the last lap. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Anything, anything. A double super horn. Whew. No. He was right behind me. Oh, my gosh. Dude, you had me in the first half. All right, let's give a round of applause right over here to Weston. Feel free to head on out. Dude. I was holding my breath on that one. That was so hard. Anyway, you guys are an amazing audience. Thank you so much for being here. Um, that, unfortunately, is our time for the day. But don't worry. I've got a booth over here. I'm going to be here all weekend signing autographs, talking your head off about how awesome Yokai Watch and Pokemon and all that stuff are. Um, if you guys have the app, take a look at the schedule. I've got some other programming happening on stage over here, including a panel where we rank every single Mario game in existence, and I need the help of you guys for it. There's another panel um, on Saturday where we're going to be talking about the best Pokemon. Any Pokemon fans? There we go. Come to that panel on Saturday. And if you guys are here on Sunday, I've got the debut of a very awesome game show that's going to be happening where I'm going to be taking 10 contestants from the audience and we're going to duke it out and crown a winner. Sunday. Be there. Check the schedule. Again, my name is Abdallah. Thank you guys so much. You guys can go over to YouTube um, and just type in Abdallah Smash right over here. Awesome, awesome. Feel free to do that. And hit that subscribe button. Help me get to a million, yeah? Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the con, friends. Have a great rest of your day. See ya.